nom, 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 nom. That was delicious. Mr. Owl, how many lifts does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? Let's find out. One. Two. <laughs> Three. Three. How many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? The world may never know. Get out. Walk in, ask questions, get out. Get out. Mr. Connor, Jesus. remember to speak clearly and precisely to the subject. This one will be very difficult to talk to. Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me, Mr. Ferdinand. Well, I beg your pardon. I didn't smell you in here. Quite unusual of me, I have to say. I must be coming down with the flu. Well, do take a seat. I'll fetch us some tea. I thought I was just speaking to the Duke of the Highlands about a wonderful new cause of the Duchess. The resemblance is uncanny. I trust you don't speak a word of this to either of them on your way out. Her demeanor this Harry as her upper lip. Apparently, the Duke's uncle will pass away in a terrible swan attack. Tragically, he was relentless at badminton. I say, do you partake in the whacking of the shuttlecock yourself? Actually, I'm just here to ask you some questions. Ah, well, of course you are. Why else would you be here? Exactly, so the question It's all any of you fleshy humunculi do these days, eh? Popping into my bloody room and asking me bloody questions. Although, I cannot blame you for wanting to avoid this room. 
Not a single man has walked into my cell without losing his head. Did you know that? Uh, well, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Remember what Mr. Halloran said? It's just like pictures in a book, Candy. It isn't real. Hello, Connor. But I bet you're wondering how I know your name. Oh, I was just going to assume she told you. Loyal subject, you have struggled and toiled in the field for generations. You have suffered great hardships and fought harsh battles. But above all, you have suppressed your fear of what is to come after death. Fear not, for you have been given an opportunity to abolish that fear entirely. State of Salisbury. Thank <laughs> you. 
right through here and make yourself all try to get yourself all the way to the cannonball room so you want to go right through there on your mark get set go there you go you've got plenty of time she's made it out without any obstacles at this point Doors open, she's gonna make it into the crawl space and head for the pit of despair. She goes into the pit of despair, no problem. Right through there, heading for the throne room. Oh, she sits down, oh, she hit a temple guard, but she's got an extra life, so she gets to go on. So now she's gotta find another entrance. The doors open somewhere, you sit, wanna go up, she's getting rooted on by her partner. There she goes into the center of the room, the heart room, the center of the temple. She's gone through another call space. She's heading for the hugging idol, where she'll have to hug an idol to open a door. Where is the opening? That'll take her the wrong way. If she wants to go back, she's going to have to hug an idol or go through a door. Boom, she's in. And she's got to have to assemble them up. There she goes. Next turn. Time for Jam and John to get on through with one minute, 55 seconds. There he goes. He's going to follow that path. He said he's going to be the anchor. We'll see if he can clean it up. There he goes. He's running a 440 pretty well. Can he make it without getting caught by a temple guard? Or will he find another half pendant? into the hugging idols where he's then going into the monkeys he's gonna have to put the monkeys together what has he got he's got it put the monkey together there he goes he's got the base of it he's got a minute 17 left gotta get it in the right position that monkey that silver monkey Got the head, he presses it down, he's gonna open a door. Which door opens? It's the room of the three, four torches. It's the torch room. He's gonna take the elevator down, and there he goes down into the mine shaft where the cannonball awaits. He's got his eye on that cannonball. He doesn't think that elevator's ever gonna get down there. And he's down, he's got the cannonball. Now he's got to find his way back. There he goes. He goes up the mine shaft, back into the torch room. Oh, he's heading into the shrine of the silver monkeys. He's in the shrine. He's got to find his way back with 30 seconds left into the center of the... Up to the upper observatory. Uh-oh. Could cost him some valuable time. And he's heading for the pit of despair. What will he do? The despairing pit. Into the pit he goes. He's got 14 seconds. Will he make it? She's gonna be close. Here he goes. Six, five, four, three. There he goes.
2445. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, Doctor. Where are you now? I'm in some sort of tunnel. It's cramped. Can I get out of here now? Can you describe it to me? No. It's too dark to see anything. And I'm stuck. Stuck how? I can't move my torso or my arm. I'm surrounded by rock and dirt on both sides, and I can't move forward. Get me out of here.
We're detonating the Alpha Warheads in T-minus 90 seconds. All personnel are advised to board the nearest helicopter or enter the nearest blast shelter immediately. SCP-173 SCP, SCP, SCP-173 SCP, SCP, SCP-173 SCP, SCP, SCP-173 SCP, SCP, SCP-173 